Good day everyone, the Global Surveyor here, Sydney, Australia. I'm in a place called Box Hill, Sydney's northwest, undertaking a retaining wall survey, final survey for retaining wall certification and sign off by the council. As shown in previous videos, I like to try and draw up the, the block of land and the survey reference marks before I head out. That way I can set my instrument up and do a resection uh, measuring to the survey reference marks and let the instrument calculate my position. You can see I've highlighted the reference marks in, in yellow here and I put those numbers into my survey controller when I'm at the point, press measure and then I let the instrument do all the hard work um, and then I can start um, measuring the retaining wall and various other things and the beauty of it all is that when I get back to the office all I have to do is merge the measured data with the plan that I've drawn up previously and the wall that I've got will you know, sit nicely um, on top and then I can query whether the wall is over the boundary or not. One of the uh, weapons of choice today will be this uh, Leica mini prism. It's about 130 millimetres long from the tip to the center of the prism there. And uh, it's helpful to have a mini prism if you're gonna be measuring closer to the ground or if you have an assistant with you, which I don't. Um, you, um, you know, they would uh, hold it for you, but uh, handy. It's sometimes a little bit fiddly if you've got to hold that and the controller to take measurements, but um, definitely worth something definitely worth having this prism as part of your surveying arsenal. The inbox hill, this is a brand new subdivision. As you can see, your home's under construction here. And the survey marks we have here for the corner is a drill hole and a wing on the curb. And um, I'll just go over here. Show you. These are the new type of urban state survey marks. They're st sort of stainless steel plate with a pin, drill a hole and whack it in, measure it, tie it into your survey control. And uh, just for those who wonder how I do it, I've got a, um, a little camera mount here on the top of my Theodolite TS-16 can put my camera on too. Pretty cool, eh? What do you reckon? As you can see here, we're doing the uh, resection, measuring to the uh, survey reference marks that are placed on the curb. And once the uh, instrument has undertaken uh, the calculation and knows exactly where it is, it's always good practice to re-measure the marks for the final time. Now we're uh, using mini prism to measure to the top of the wall and job done. This is a close up of the wall and uh, what makes this wall quite interesting is that it's brick pavers, about 100 mil high brick pavers and they look like they've been fixed to a timber retaining wall with a bit of fibro mounted onto the wall. So interesting idea crazy thing about this wall I've got to write a really detailed description so I can put in the survey report it's a brick paver retaining wall the pavers are 0.1 high by 50 mils thick they're mounted to a fibro backing board and there are 50 mil sleepers the thickness is 50 mil sleepers with a 200 by 50 mil post. And it's about 110 wide for the actual wall width, excluding the post. So it's quite a mouthful. Um, I guess the thing is keep it simple as best you can. That's, that's the main goal. And here's a more detailed profile of the wall as constructed. So the final thing is just to take a few photos so we can add them to the survey report. And uh, that's it. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, your support would be greatly appreciated. 
And if you have any questions about surveying or anything that you'd like to discuss, feel free to drop me a message. And uh, once again, thanks so much for watching. This is a Global Surveyor. See you later.